Good morning, ma'am. What is your full name? My full name is Sharjee Ahmed, and Where I am are you from, from. I am from Pakistan, Lahore. Tell me about your hometown. Uh, my hometown is uh, I. I I live in Model Town, Lahore. It's a beautiful place in Lahore. One of the most uh, luxurious place in uh, Lahore. Uh, my hometown is uh, surrounded by all kind of facilities. Like if you talk about hospitals, schools, not just these things, but also each and every kind of facility. And if you talk about environmentally, uh, my hometown is really good. Uh, there's a lot of actually trees and uh, green area and environment. Uh all right do you work or are you a student i am a student i have recently done my intermediate exams pre engineering exams okay let's talk about friends do you have many friends yes i actually have many friends how often do you talk to your friends <laughs> actually uh, my day is actually not started until i talk with my friends Fr from morning to night i every time i talk with my friends on a different topics like uh, uh, if we talk about current i am preparing for ielts so i have many friends and i actually uh, discuss about different kind of topics and all these things so every time i am on my phone and talking with my friends how do you communicate with your friends uh, i I prefer uh, WhatsApp text messages, but at the same time, if I'm busy and doing something, so I, I prefer call. Okay. How do people make friends now? Well, uh, it's like being a harsh, but uh, I personally think that people make friends for their benefits. Why? Maybe it's a kind of a tough environment, and everyone wants everyone. Mean there, there might be you. You may be in the need of anyone anytime. So that's why I think so that people uh, make friends for their benefits. Mostly people. Okay, is friendship important to you? Yes, ma'am. Friendship means a lot for me, and. I have men. I have limited friends, so that's why I really can't make my friend circle so lo long that I actually can't handle it and actually time pass with each and every friend. So friendship means a lot, and that's why my friend circle is so small. Do you prefer to spend time with friends or spend time alone? Well, certainly it depends on my mood, but uh, I love to spend time with my friends. We used to go outside and enjoy some parties and uh, movies and all that. What kind of people do you like to have as a friend? Well, <laughs> it's like everyone wants that his friend is according to his nature. Uh, but uh, I think so that uh, I really love those per per persons who's against my nature because it's really helped me in many ways. First of all, I, I really get a chance to understand different kind of personalities. So and I personally think so that's uh, two parallel things never walk, uh, never, uh, never. Uh, if you say that two parallel things never. Walk on the same way. It's maybe I'm wrong. So that's I think so that uh, chorus uh, that. Uh, Opposite person uh, may be benefits for me, beneficial for me. Okay, let's talk about colors. What colors do you like? Uh, I love black, as you see. I'm wearing black now. What is the most popular color in your country? Well, uh, if you talk about most popular, I really don't know about the answer, but maybe I think so that black is the most important color because uh, whenever I talk about my friends that what is your favorite color? They just all they just replied me that black is our favorite color too. So that's why. Do colors affect your mood? Yes, definitely. Colors affect my mood. Uh, whenever I'm in a sad mood, I really don't want to, you know, uh, I really don't want to watch a different kind of dark things and all these things. 
so it's definitely affect our mood in our daily life so whenever i'm in a fresh mood i really love to watch a bright colors like in a, in morning if you talk about there's actually a bright bright colors everywhere so it's definitely affect our mood and our mood defines our colors did color matter to you when you were a child when i was a child orange color i really love orange color i really don't know the answer why orange attracts me at that time but i think so that maybe because uh, one of my favorite toy it it was just uh, like a big truck so i used to play with him every time so uh, that's why i think so that orange is my favorite color maybe okay let's talk about dreams do you often have dreams at night yes ma'am it's like all variety of dreams action thrilling and all types it's all night and i am dreaming have you had a bad dream yes ma'am many times but i think so uh, when i had a bad dreams it may be because most of the times i feel that whenever i watch a uh, horror movie and after i go for a sleep then i actually had a horror dream okay let's talk about watches how often do you wear a watch a uh, daily any uh, watch i think so that uh, in this era watches plays an important role not maybe just because of fashion but uh, maybe it's uh, define our personalities so i uh, wear watch every time with every kind of dress what kind of watches do you like to wear i like to wear a simple watches with a black strip and a beautiful large elegant diagonal do people still wear watches in your country yes ma'am uh, people of all ages really love to wear watches and the proof of this is uh, and, uh, many people uh, gift as uh, give their friends uncles or whatever they they love to give watches as gifts on different occasions okay now i will give you your two minute topic you will have one minute to prepare on that topic and you have to speak for one to two minutes talk about an occasion when you helped someone in your family please say who you helped how you helped how he she felt at that time and you have one minute should i start ma'am yes well i personally believe that helping people is really important in everyone's life i still remember an incident when i helped my uncle he is very near to my heart he always helped us in our difficult time actually it was about last year when he suffered from a serious kind of injury it was an accident injury on his backbone he is in serious condition so doctors uh, doctors are not much hopeful about his uh, health and there's a so they, uh, actually because of accident he lost his uh, blood too much so doctors uh, asked us to donate blood to our uncle so uh, his his blood group is b positive so people uh, I, unfortunately uh, there's not uh, that much of per unfortunately there is not too much people who have blood group b positive so fortunately my blood group is b positive so i decided to donate my blood to my uncle after that he is not financially too good so i helped my uncle in financial way too i supply with him different kind of needs like uh, from if you talk about basic kind of medicine medicine expenses and hospital expenses and also uh, his family his family expen expenses because uh, his only his only source of his family from where they get their uh, needs so i help him uh, in his hard time it i it was really a hard time for him and at now i am very feeling sad about that time because it's such a miserable condition for him and i really don't want to explain this but i don't have any such incident other than this so that's all from i will ask you few questions related to this topic do you think helping people is important 
Yes, ma'am. Helping people is re- really important in everyone's life. Like in this world, I think that the world is very small. If we don't help any people, how can we expect that people help us in our difficult time? Do you think it is necessary to teach children to help at home? Sorry, ma'am, I don't get you. Do you think it is necessary to teach children to help at home? Yes, ma'am. It is really important because children are our asset of everyone's nation, every nation. So I think that it's really important to teach uh, our children about the importance of helping other people. So when they grow up, they help different people. What kind of tasks are suitable for teenagers at home? If we uh, talk about general tasks, so it's maybe starting from our mother. Like we can help our mother in many ways. When she she's cooking food and when she's doing her, her household works. So we can help her in many ways. Like we can help her when she was cooking. So we just uh, after eating, we just wash dishes. And when she was uh, washing clothes, we can just simply uh, put clothes outside for dry, dry purpose. So that's how I think so teenagers should understand the value of helping other people. Should parents are children to help? Yes, ma'am. The answer to this question is uh, surely yes, because this is the thing where parents should our children because children are doing something very wrong in their daily life. So it's really important to uh, strictly teach them the importance of helping other people. So it's definitely going to improve their personality. So I think so that in this matter, uh, parents should urge their child to help other people. Is it a good idea to punish children for not helping? No, I think so. No, punishment is not solution of everything. There's a better alternative ways for this. Like we can just simply try to explain them, understand them, and try to understand them the, the importance of helping other people. So they definitely, I think so that a child are like, child are really very innocent. So uh, they do whatever, uh, they do what we teach them. So if we teach them, they definitely help other people and not repeat that kind of mistakes again. Do you think it is important for neighbors to help each other? Yes, ma'am. Neighbors, Neighbors should help each other because uh, like there are many people who don't have a child. So in this time, I think so the neighbors are the ones who actually take care of needs of their neighbors. So neighbors should help their neighbors. All right, this is the end of your speaking. Thank you.